Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The FDA today approved the first drug in the U.S. with a digital ingestion tracking system, Abilify MySight, which are aripiprazole tablets with sensor. Well, it has an ingestible sensor embedded in the pill that records that the medication was taken. The product is approved for the treatment of schizophrenia, acute treatment of manic and mixed episodes associated with bipolar disorder, and for use as an add-on treatment for depression in adults. Now, the system works by sending a message from the pill sensor to a wearable patch. The patch transmits the information to a mobile application so that patients can track the ingestion of the medication on their smartphone. Patients can also permit their caregivers and physician to access the information through a web-based portal. Of course, my first fear amongst others is that hackers would also have uh, access to this information. But uh, being able to track ingestion of medications prescribed for mental illness may be useful for some patients, said Mitchell Mathis, MD, director of the Division for Psychiatry Products and the FDA Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. The FDA supports the development and use of new technology and prescription drugs and is committed to working with companies to understand how technology might benefit patients and prescribers. Okay, folks, there is a lot more on this. Um, in my opinion, folks, again, you know that I'm a, a follower of Christ. I am a watcher of, uh, I'm a watchman at the wall watching for end times events. This is so beast technology. You're swallowing a sensor. Uh, in a piece of medication, especially medication for the for the treatment of schizophrenia, uh, bipolar, and other mental disorders, what could possibly go wrong? Oh my gosh, folks! This is this is so mark of the beast, in my opinion. And the fact that that these tracking these tracking devices on these little pills, at the very least, they could be hacked. At the, I mean, again, this is this is another step toward the beast system. The Antichrist is coming, folks. We are building his world, his, his system, his platform for him every day. I'm sure many of you would say that I'm a lunatic. You'd probably say that I need these pills. You probably would say that how could something like this possibly be bad? This sends information to, to our watch to remind us that we took the pill. It sends information to our doctors. How could that be bad? Anytime you're swallowing something that tracks anything you do, folks, that is so mark of the beast. But anyway, I'll leave you a link to this. There's quite a bit there to read. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer's Story. Um, the Kindle is only $1.99 if you are signed up for the Kindle Unlimited program. You can read it for absolutely free. The paperback is $7.99. Folks, the man decided what you read, what you listened to, what you ate and drank, and what you drove. The man formed your opinions for you and convinced you that up was down and right is wrong. And the man would love you to take a pill with a sensor in it too, folks. This is a story about so much of what you see, but more so of what you don't see going on in America and the world right now. If you're a follower of World of if you're tracking the machinations of the deep state, if you are aware of where we are in history, this is gritty, edgy, timely, end times Christian fiction without a bit of fluff, folks. Uh, this, this has got all the elements that you are watching right now in it, and I, I guess fictionally I'm prognosticating what I think might happen. Check it out. Uh, you can read Chapter 1 for free. It's called Fake News. That's also linked below where you meet indie journalist Dave Jameson. There's a link to some of my music down there as well. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led to. And most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim. God bless you. I'll see you soon.